Wednesday. I want to say Monday so bad because I'm so used to saying Monday. How are you doing this week? Uh, I have a few good things to share with you. There's a few cool food finds and actually a very good tip that I have for you this week that is so simple, but I never thought of it and I saw it posted. Anyway, let's start with um, this week, I would like to start a challenge. So, so many of you have sent me emails and messages all over the place about doing another challenge. We've had so much success in the past with the challenge that we do. Um, I stayed the same this week, so and I'm sure a lot of you are ready for something different, so I say we start the challenge, and I will post the details on my blog. Yes. So I will post the, there's two sheets that you're going to want to print out. One is the directions or instructions, and the second one is a checkoff sheet that you can use. And it's super easy, super simple, but it's just getting back to the basics and getting back to measuring everything. You, you know how you start getting into the habit where you were measuring out your creamer in the morning and next thing you know you're just dumping it into your coffee and not counting it correctly and that can really add up. You could be having two points when you think you're having one. Especially if you're like me and you drink you know a few cups of coffee a day then it can really add up. So anyway it's just getting back to the basics and staying on track and you'll see what I'm gonna do like I said, is I'm gonna repost the two things that you can print out, and then the other thing that I'm gonna post is the video that tells you what to do. So you'll have both of those things. The video is the best way to really understand it, and then you have your printable things. So I think the best day to start would be um, as soon as you <laughs> watch this video. Um, I will put the dates, though. We can start tomorrow, but I will put the dates when it will end. So that's that, and I'm really excited. Again, we've had success where people have lost, I don't know, 13 pounds and things like that. So it'll go on for about 12 days because people have different weigh-in days, but anyway. Uh, the next thing I found in one of the, um, it was on a Facebook post or something, I don't know where, but I found a really good tip, and this is for when you go out to restaurants. Now, what you do when you're, you don't have the points or you weren't expecting to go out, so you didn't get to look up anything, and you're just totally, you have no idea. So you get there, and most restaurants have the um, the calories. Well, they're starting to be required to do that, which is an awesome thing. But um, so say your what you're going to do is whatever the total calories is for your meal, you're going to divide that by forty, and that will come up. That will give you um, a points range. So say your meal was 550 calories, then it's going to equate to 13 points. And so the reason you're dividing by 40 is because each point is about 40 cal um, 40 calories. So it could be more, it could be less, depends how much fiber and things like that. But th this is just a, a pretty close estimate, I'd say. So um, I think that is super helpful. I had never thought of that, and um, so I wanted to share it with you so you could use that for yourself. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to get into my food finds. I have some cool stuff to share. And one, now these aren't new, but I had never tried them. These are Reese's Peanut Butter, what are they? Yeah, Peanut Butter Cup Sundays. 
uh, by Weight Watchers. These are three points a piece and they are delicious. I mean, delicious. I love these. So um, I just tried these. I, I thought they were going to kind of taste like nothing, <laughs> but they don't. They're actually really good. They're 130 calories and as I said, three points. So they're like creamy and you get like real Reese's peanut butter cups in there. It's delicious. So if you haven't tried those, give those a try. Um, found a new bar by Special K that's really good. And I always have like a cup of blueberries with this because it makes it more filling, of course. So th uh, these are 100 calories and three points. And it's just another snack bar, granola bar, whatever you want to call it. And it is, I guess, just a new flavor, but really good for 100 calories and three points. That was from Giant Food, by the way. And the Weight Watchers meals or dessert things are everywhere. Not everywhere, but most places. Um, another... I think I've shown like a different flavor a long time ago, but these are awesome. And I found these at the Christmas tree shop. These are the, um, what are they called? Cafe twists. See what they look like. They are so good. You have to be careful with these, but they have right on here, uh, the Weight Watcher points. Points value is one, two twists is one point. So this with a cup of coffee at night is delicious. So, and this is um, maple French toast. And it does taste like French toast to me. Delicious. I love these are, trust me, <laughs> they're good. Very good. Something I'm super excited about, I found, I said it last time, but I probably say it every time I find a new popcorn, but I found the lowest popcorn that I have ever found, ever, ever, ever. So, that's this. This is Good Health Half Naked Popcorn, and get this, five cups is three points. Five cups. That's like craziness. So you could have so much of this for so little points. It just has um, <laughs> popcorn, sunflower oil, olive oil, and sea salt. It has, it's gluten free, It's there's nothing artificial, no preservatives, and um, four grams of fiber, which is helpful. So. Um, I have not tried these yet, but I'll, I will post on Facebook uh, what I thought of these because five cups for three points is just, again, the lowest I've ever found for popcorn in a bag that's already popped. Next, um, these are very cool. Um, these are V8 Energy um, Black Cherry. They come in different flavors, but I chose black cherry and they are one point a piece and one of these counts as a serving of vegetables and fruit so you can never have too much vegetables and fruit and they're 50 calories per can so they are sweet they taste good the green the green one that I had shown a while back that is more to mix with a shake or something like that it's not a delicious yummy drink but this one is and it's only 50 calories per can and it's good for you so that was also at giant food um, I found a really healthy oatmeal this is from nature's path and this is this has um omega-3s in it, whole grain, and it has a lot of fiber. So it's 160 calories for four points. But this is worth it, again, 
put like blueberries in there or strawberries, raspberries, whatever to bulk up your oatmeal. I add extra water and make, I always make mine bigger. So I add extra water and then heat it up again. Add a little bit more water and heat it up again. And then it gets really big and then I add fruit to it and it's a huge, huge amount. So four points isn't bad, especially when you bulk it up with fruit. And it's really good for you. It has the omegas, it has five grams of protein and three grams of fiber. I'm always looking for stuff with fiber because I know if um, the fiber is high, then the points are going to be lower. I found a new creamer, which is delicious. This is vanilla mocha mochiato. I think that's how you say it. But this is a new flavor. As you can see, it's 35 calories for one tablespoon and one point. And make sure that you measure this because these <laughs> calories can definitely add up. So um, that is a new creamer that I found. These, this is a new tortilla. I have never seen them before, but one wrap is only 100 calories and three points, and it has 13 grams of fiber. And look how big that is. It is humongous. 13 grams of fiber and eight grams of protein. So um, definitely, definitely check these out. They are um, high fiber, extra virgin olive oil soft wraps. So you can use these for pretty much anything. You can make, um, you know, tortillas in your, for those of you that got the, um, what is that thing called? The, uh, I'll think of it later. Anyway, um, the thing that we made wraps with. Anyway, um, I'll think of it. You guys will think of it and probably comment below. Next. This is really cool. I found a giant food. And this is love, love, love this idea. They have made single serving packs of vegetables. So instead of opening the whole pack of something, you could just grab one for yourself if you're eating alone and have one. Of course, the, there's broccoli one, which is going to be zero points. Then there's a corn packet that's two points and a peas packet that is two points. So awesome, awesome idea. I love this. I was super excited when I found this. So that's just called Steam Ready Vegetable Variety Pack. And last but not least, this is an awesome food find and I can't believe how low it is. This is from Whole Foods, and actually my daughter went there, and this is a Mexican dip. Now, I was shocked by how low the calories and points are for this, and Whole Foods is so far away from me, but I have to go there and see what else they, <laughs> what else they have, because literally this is one ounce, is only 36 calories and one point. 36 calories. This entire, now let me just show you, it's a Mexican dip, but it's got sour cream, like a bean kind of thing, guacamole, cheese, like everything you could ever wish for that would go with a tortilla or chips or whatever for 36 calories. The entire package, I think I counted, was 11 points. It might be 12. But literally, like this is super safe. Uh, you're having company over. This is like a really, really good low dip. Add free salsa and there you go. So summer is coming as well. We have to get ready. We have to get the weight off. Let's get moving. Let's get this challenge going and um, we're going to post our results at the end and that's always a fun time to see who did what and how well everybody did so 
Have a fabulous week. If you have any questions, post under the video that I'm going to post. I'm going to post it on my blog and on my Facebook page because I know some of you go on one and some of you go on the other. So anyway, it's going to be ignore the dates on it and everything. I think I said that, but so have a fabulous, fabulous week. I love you guys so much, and I have gotten your messages. I have not read them all, but I'm getting through them slowly but surely. <laughs> Very slowly but surely. So, again, have a great week. Please do the challenge. It's super, super fun. Everybody's, you know, posting, and I'll try to post things during the week to help keep you motivated. So have a great week, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.